And the Braxton. Oh, I see. You, you got my hoodie on. You better not ruin my hoodie now. How'd you do that? Oh, here they come, Brax. See if we got some comments yet. Oh, Drew's first one on, baby. Holly, I said no more sticks, honey. No more sticks. Sticks are going upstairs. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the live tonight. So we're going to post up a video, but we're out here working in the shop, and we thought, well, it better not just to go live. Um, me and Brax is working on Weston's sleeper tonight, and the giveaway boat, and the dump truck. we got all kinds of stuff going on, don't we? Oh, your phone dead? Good. Well, the comments are working good tonight. Everybody's saying hello, Brax. The blue FLD, where's it been? It's on the road working. It does, don't it? Yeah, we're getting ready for Christmas. I think the giveaway ends in two weeks. I think we got two more weeks. I'm getting ready to show you guys the giveaway boat. We're working on it tonight. We're also working on Weston Sleeper. We're trying to get this thing stripped down. Um... The Mustang. If you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, we post quite a bit on there about the Mustang and updates on it. It's pretty much almost a roller again at this point. That it's a beast. All right, Brax. We got 360 people in here so far. Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's get the likes up. Everybody go share it. Let everybody know we're live so we can get the... Let's get, I want to get up 2,000 people tonight. That'd be awesome. All right, Brax. You got your jacket on? The scam freight liner is just sitting around, buddy. I need to get it out here and get it rocking and rolling, don't we? So I actually own the scam freight liner now. So we're going to get it put back, you know, like finish it up. All it really needs is just, uh, well, I'm going to do a lot to it. I'm going to do the interior, exterior, everything. But that's another project for another day. Right now we got a big one that we're working on. All right, you're going to control the camera. you got to talk about the comments now. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, that's cool. Chris Maliot says his company's the one that delivered our trailer. That driver is pretty cool. He's at, he said he follows us on YouTube now. I told him about the channel and stuff. Pretty excited about my trailer now. That thing's wicked. So the video coming out tomorrow is us stretching the trailer and getting the heavy haul Argosy hooked to it. So we got it out here finally. All right, Brax, I got to get busy working. You going to run this thing? Guys, I'm sorry. The shop is a disaster right now. It has been a super long week in this shop and we have got so much done and so much to go uh, we got two projects to get out of here because we're getting ready to turn it into a paint shop for about a week we got to get the hood down we got to get we're stripping the sleeper tonight and hopefully by tuesday we're painting yeah i will find it probably in the trailer yeah right there it is All right, what CDL school do I recommend? Tennessee Truck Driving School is pretty good. All right, so guys, here you go. You're going to run the camera? We'll have to put it on charge here in a few. So I'm getting ready to put some aircraft. So this stuff sucks. It works, but it sucks. But it will get the job done. So let's show, let's show them how many times this thing's been painted. All right, so... Literally, this thing's had like five or six paint jobs put on it. 
I didn't realize it had that many paint. Like, so right here's a coat. This is the primer I put on it. Here's another coat. Here's another coat of paint. And then here's primer. And then another coat of paint under that primer. And then you got a dark blue underneath that. So this thing's been painted like a tremendous amount of times. So our goal is to be taking, we're planning on taking this truck to Matt's. So um, we're going to do some videos with it before Matt's, but we're wanting to take this truck to Matt's and have it showcased and we're going to have Weston come and be there and all that stuff. So we got a lot of work to do and we've only got a little bit of time to do it. Matt's is in March. So we got the frame finished, the wiring on it, everything's done with it. Now we're on to the sleeper. So I, it's hard to make a video doing this right here, guys. It's it's so time consuming. It takes so long to do it. So I just figured we'll take we'll just go live while we're doing it tonight, and uh, we'll work on the giveaway boat while this thing's setting up, or we can get it stripped. So it's been like a hundred different colors, like five different colors. Oh, I need some gloves. Is what I need. I got some, uh, I know where some's at. No, I need like some rubber gloves. Let's go to the, let's go to the building. I got some gloves in there. Look how shiny this thing is. Man, she's shining. Here, I'll respond to comments while we're headed out here. Happy holidays, everybody. So the giveaway Duramax turned out awesome. That thing's a beat. We might take it for a little test trip here in a little bit. We got to get some people in here, though. We're at 650, guys. Let's get the likes up. Hit that thumbs up button. All right. Check this out, guys. We, got a, we found us some good find. Right here, we have some complete. Now, these are our marine right now. We got to uh, finish disassembling them. But um, we're, uh, these are, we got a 6.2 and 2.5.3s. Hey, Wayne Barnett said, tell Brax I said hi. This is LS. 2L. This is for like a boat. They're brand new, though. Yep, so we got some of that stripper coming. I just talked to Rob on the phone up at SH Tube. He's getting me some stripper Tuesday. But we're going to get as much as we can done. I, we got to get this thing in paint. All right, here's some gloves. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're brand new motors. Yeah, we're about to put that in your last end. One of them. Merry Christmas, Joseph. All right, guys, we're almost to 700 in here. I think we can about fill a stadium tonight. They want to see the new trailer. We'll look, I'll show it to you here in just a few. Guys, what do y'all think about the giveaway, Duramax? That thing not turn out sweet. Turn the lights on, Brax. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. When you guys are going to be winning this thing here coming up, this and the boat. Man, Brax has been driving it. It's hard. I don't want to get rid of it now. The boat turned out awesome. Look how shiny it is. Yeah, guys, this boat, I'm taking this thing fishing tomorrow, so me and Brax is trying to get all the electronics on it. Here, I'll show you what we got going on here. Oh, here's one of the graphs. So this one's going on the front up here. It's getting a new Lowrance up front up here. I got some awesome brackets to go on it. So it's getting a Lowrance up front, a new Minn Kota trolling motor, which we're trying to get all this stuff done tonight because we got a fishing tournament to go against Dad and Papa tomorrow. Um, new hummingbird. This is going over there on the dash. 
So it's a Helix 9, and then we've got the Lowrance going up front. Um, got all new tackle boxes, new fishing poles, new net. I mean, we are completely decking this boat out, guys. So if you win this thing, you'll be able to go straight to fishing. And this motor, my papa had this motor built. So it's actually, it's an XR6 150. It's got oversized pistons in it. It's got... I mean, it's set up to turn some major RPMs. This thing sounds insane. You should definitely hear it going down the water at 7,800 RPMs. Just absolutely scream. All right, let me grab the fishing poles. So, guys, if you haven't got entered in this thing, GentryAndSonsTrucking.com. We're trying to get some. We need to get the giveaway going. I ended up working on the truck the whole time the giveaway's been going on. So, um, we did decide to go ahead and repaint it and all that stuff and. It actually turned out really nice. I like both of them. I like the Y one the best. Uh, the boat runs around as fast as I'm willing to take it is like around 70. I mean, it'll probably go faster than that, but I've had it seven, around 65, 70. It'll absolutely fly. We are coming to Matt's, guys. We're planning on bringing Brax's Air Force cab over. And God help us, we're bringing Weston's truck. I'm taking every bit of money I've made this year and sticking it into that Peterbilt. And we're going to make that sucker sick. Alright, so got some new fishing poles for it. And you guys can enter this giveaway at gentryandsonstrucking.com. I got I got line and everything for them. We got a lot to go. All right, let's get some stripper on this cab or sleeper so we can get it sitting because it takes like 30 minutes. Wait till y'all see this new video is getting ready to come out. Braxton blindsided this truck in in a crazy spot. One time. I mean, literally back to straight in. All right, Brax. Let's get busy. The classic, when you're back to the end of the day. All right, I got to have gloves for this stuff. This stuff's toxic. All right, we're at 824, guys. We're getting there. All right, you got the... You got the camera and be careful, don't hit the X button. I think is that one of my gloves? Alright, here we go. So that stuff that Rob and them have up there that Jesse and them put on um, Lee's truck, that stuff's what we need, but this will work for now. Um, they're, jeez, I gotta put a mask on with this. Don't breathe that, Brick. <coughs> Do not breathe that. Huh? We got another new one. We got to get the shop cleaned up. The guys were supposed to clean it up before they went home Friday, but they didn't. We'll be getting them to them when they come into work. Please give me $100. Oh, you'll clean it for $100? No, they gave me $100. Who? You guys did? Yeah. <laughs> really? Them little suckers. Well, you didn't do your job. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna use this for other. That's what I'm gonna use. That's what I'm gonna start doing, Brax. I'm gonna tell him you told it too. Yeah, look at 
you there, Brax. I found your mask. Oh, here, I'll put it on you. We can get the new one. All right, guys, you can see we're all masked up. Uh, here it is. This stuff is potent, boy. Here you go. Huh? I don't know. Let's see how far it goes. Stuff still coming through this mask. Oh. Huh? I think it's melting the sponge. It sucks, I already had this thing in primer, but I want it to be perfect, so. And now that I painted the truck, I know what per how hard it is to get one perfect. Your body work ain't perfect, you're just... Thirty minutes. Thirty to forty five minutes. I guess eating through my glove. Whew. So while that's sitting there though, we'll uh, answer some comments and go over here and work on the boat. Alright, we're almost at nine hundred people. Holly, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, we need some beer, he said. Holly, what are you doing? You little hag. 
All right, we're up to 900. All right, let's get on this boat. All right, so what we're having to do, guys, we got a new transducer. And uh, we got to get this thing mounted up. Huh? Yeah, that thing's nasty. All right, we still got to get in here and we got to clean all this up. Still some things to do, but we're getting there. We are getting there, yeah. Yeah, no, I got to figure out some way of pulling it up through there. Let's see. Just push it. Holly is a. Oh, crap, what did I do? So, Holly is a Shih Tzu. Ain't you? A little Shih Tzu, huh? She's my girl. Alright, guys. I gotta figure out how to run this wire. So this wire comes up through here. Um, let's see. Gotta read some comments. Alright. Johnny Cash. All right, so guys, I gotta. I don't know. I've made this clear like a thousand times, I guess now. But um, <clears throat> and don't take no disrespect from it. But I know I've seen a lot of comments lately about, oh, Tim's working on this truck when he should have been working on that truck or this and that. So guys, this business takes a lot of capital to run. There's a lot of overhead. It's we've got you know a bunch of drivers, a lot of families that work here. Um, I had this trucking company well before the YouTube channel, and this trucking company, I still have all the same employees that I started with, most of them anyway. So these employees are very important to me. This trucking company is very important to me, and this trucking company growing is important to me. Um, so any of the YouTube projects, if something comes up with a business, like this year we dealt with a fire. I mean, overcoming that, that most people would have never overcome that. I can't believe we did. Honestly, cannot believe we overcome it. I spent many, many nights just my stomach just turned over like I'm going to throw up, just dreading the next day. Just I didn't even want to go to sleep at night because I knew how I was going to feel the next morning when I woke up with the stress and the anxiety and the torture of trying to overcome that shop fire. I know we tried, we made it look easy. Guys, there's nothing easy about overcoming that fire and getting to where we're at today. I mean, it's been a nightmare. And, yeah, we're, we're starting to see daylight. And I'm not saying the struggle's over yet. We could fail next week. But we're, we keep going. We're working as hard as we can. And the same thing like a Weston's truck. When I made that deal to fix his truck, guys, I took it on. I'm taking care of all the labor and building the truck. You know, as of right now, it is coming out of my going at it hardcore i'm taking all the money that i've made this year that we've got left over and i'm putting into these projects and getting them finished up so um give me a little time we're getting there and i know a lot of people understand that a lot of you people on the channel are in business and understand all that stuff but there's also a lot of people that don't understand it and i see the comments all the time and i want to say something but at the same time you know it is what it is we'll get there we'll make it at the end of the day we survived a nightmare honestly when that shop fire happened i probably should have told weston you know hey i might want to take your truck somewhere else but he's a good friend he's patient and he knew what i was going to have to overcome and that's why you haven't seen no issues with it because weston's a good friend of mine 
And he's been there supporting us, surviving that fire and being able to finish that project. He could have took it anywhere else. But instead, he wanted to see us finish it. So that's where we're at with it. I don't, I'm like said it a gazillion, like a gazillion times, but it's just getting. I can't post a post or even post a video anymore without seeing something about that truck. So. Looks like we lost audio halfway through that they said. All right, sound is back. I don't know what y'all heard of that, but. Dang, I should have been reading the car, watching it. All right, so I don't know what you heard of that. But anyways, like I said, we're running a business. We had to overcome a fire. Um, you know, the financial part of it, I just hadn't been able to swing it. Um, through all of it, uh, we, I can't even believe we survived it, honestly. Um, let's see. Johnny Cash for Matt's baby. So we're trying to get, we're going, we're, Wanting to bring Johnny Cash to uh, Matt's as well. We will have that truck started. You guys will hear that truck running and driving around this parking lot uh, here in just not long from now. Uh, yep. Well, answer it and tell him that we're on live. Yep, we do have open positions for the first of the year. Um, sorry, guys, I'm trying to catch up on the comments. Yep, yeah, we'll get there, guys. I'm not going to give up. I mean, hell, if i got to start over again tomorrow, I'll do it again tomorrow. Um Yeah, I'm not saying you'll see that cab overrunning in a week or so. It is, it'll be coming. I'm not giving no deadlines. No deadlines coming from here. All right, Buster, Tim, put the paint stripper on with a paintbrush and put it on heavy. Yeah, I'm going to use a paintbrush here in a minute. Uh, Glenn, I, I do agree with that. We're bringing on some new people for 2024. Um, I just took on a big boat contract, so it, things are going to get a lot better around here. I'm not going to have to struggle as much. But the new baby is due 1st of February. Where do I send you something I have? Um, you can send it to uh, 542 Main Street, Madisonville, Tennessee. Love the new shop. Um, everybody hit the thumbs up button. we got a 1,000 people in here. we got 500 comments or uh, likes. We're having a little girl. Oh, yeah, guys, the hoodies. Okay, so the rooster hoodies. I don't know. I've seen... So that's one of the biggest sellers through the whole giveaway so far is the rooster hoodie. That is my favorite hoodie in the world. Top quality. It fits good even after you wash it. It don't shrink. Um, it is awesome. <laughs> he said, wait, can't wait to get my boat done. Well, it's getting there. I said I was going to do a live and work on it, but I, I didn't. I knew once this live went up, I wasn't going to get a bunch of work done. We're waiting on Weston's sleeper to dry, or uh, 
We just put some stripper on Wes and Sleeper. We're waiting on that to um, kick down. So I'll tell you what. One thing that you are, you guys are probably going to be really excited about is the new Argosy is here. So we got it hooked to the trailer yesterday, and uh, we'll be putting that video out tomorrow. So that thing is sweet. And I'm going all out with it. I'm going to put a big cam in it and inject. Same thing Rooster got. So everything Rooster got, the new Argosy's getting. SH tubes going to doll it up. Um, and then putting some twin stacks on it. We're going to go all out with it. Cover the stripper with plastic. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Hold on just a second, guys. I'll see where I'm at on battery life, and um, I might walk out there to the new truck. All right. Yep, so the new Argosy, they're, they're factory heavy spec frame. So it's already got a heavy spec frame. So we're all we're going to do is put a third axle under it and then um, go from there. All right, let's go, baby. We got 16% left, then I'll hook it to the charger as long as we make it back. We'll just drive the Duramax show you guys what we're working with tonight. Braxton took off on me. Oh, baby. Yep, hey, we're looking for a team. So if anybody, uh, if you guys... A good team operation, husband, wife, whatever you got. We're looking for a team. Where'd Brax go? I'll get him out of here. Come on, Brax. That'll get him going. Here he comes. What'd I tell you? <laughs> Works every time, boys. I actually just bought a sandblaster, guys. For uh, I just ain't got it set up yet. Come on, Holly. You can go for a rip real quick, Brax. Roll your uh, winter down. That way I can hear it. One of you guys is going to be driving this thing out of here pretty soon. This is just on level one. It's got five levels. I don't want to break an axle. God, this thing's a beast. It's insane how good this truck runs. So I got to put some a glow plug in it. If a Duramax got a bad glow plug, it'll throw a check engine light. That's all, I, that's all it needs. This thing's got transmission. I mean, it's got it all. Ain't nothing ain't done to this truck yet. Man, this thing sounds awesome, doesn't it? What? Burnout in the burnout truck? Blue truck. Which one? Oh, your S10? Oh, I can't hear it, they said. I can't hear it. Does that help, guys? Yo. That sounds good, don't it? Alright, 
All right, now they can hear it, they said. We might have to go for another rip. All right, there's the new Argosy. I'll blow up my truck. <laughs> Guys, I just got it on level one. It's got five levels. Level five is nasty, nasty, and I don't want to tear it up. I put about 20 grand into this thing in between the motor and all the other stuff we've done to it. There's a new trailer. We got all the trucks in tonight. There's 389, Columbia, the dirty white boy. Yeah, she's pretty sweet. Dang, that 389 sexy. All right, one more quick little drive, then we gotta get the camera on charge. Oh yeah, we got a ton of lo boat loads to haul right now. 20 grand light, buddy. <laughs> You're right. This thing's got new heads. It's got everything. I mean, I didn't spare one expense on it. Just all the popping and the bridges and the turbo and the head studs and the new heads and the torque converter, all that stuff. That alone was like twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000. It's got new wheels and tires, lift kit. A transmission built on the LBZ is like, I don't know, they're expensive. See, it just spins. All right, we gotta get back and get the camera up. Not playing. It drives really good though with the new lift. Yeah, the engine light's on because of the, uh, we gotta put a glow plug in it. We got a glow plug down. My rooster. I'll show you guys the engine. He's, Guys, I can get rid of about 20% of the tire if y'all want me to. Yeah, this thing's wicked. So right here, I can show you guys, we're just on level one. So you got one, two, three, four, five. No, I don't want to tear it up. I'd like to rip a big burnout with it, but <laughs> when you guys are winning this thing soon. And it's a good everyday driving truck too. Whoo, baby. Like I said, there is no expense spared on this thing. How do you enter? You go to gentryandsonstrucking.com. Everybody already spend on there. And if you don't have the money, guys, you can go. You can send a postcard. You don't have to buy something. So, it's studded. It's got new heads. Um, we went through the whole motor on it. Uh, I need to make a video. I got a video when we did all the work to it. So it is a. It's going to be a sweet truck. paint turned out really good on it yeah I would definitely buy the truck back it's one of those deals I tried to buy the F550 bag but it didn't work out but I would definitely like to like every truck this is the second truck I fixed up like this and here I am getting rid of it guys we're at 1188 people heck yeah they are killing it all right. 
We have Major Dad video about your mom. Yeah, mom. My mom's been in a video, I think, once or twice. Found you a smaller paint booth. Uh, that paint booth we got is pretty good. All right, let's see if this stuff... I need to put some plastic on this. Oh, yeah, I'll show you the boat. Hold on just a second. I want to see this. Uh... We just put some stripper on this thing, see if we can get this paint to come off. Look at it bubbling up right there. Oh, dang, check that out. That is awesome. Stuff does work. If that stuff Rob's got is even better, that's going to be awesome. Brax is wanting to do a burnout. We're getting ready to LS swap his truck. He's dying to blow it up. Right, let me get you guys on the charger before we lose you. Guys, we're at 1,200 people. Heck yeah. We're getting up there. We're going to go for 2,000. We gotta get the likes up and shares. If not, it ain't gonna work. Where? Yeah, I don't know why it done that. I'm gonna fix that tomorrow. Hey, where'd you get a charger? Yep, sorry guys. I was uh, fixing my phone. Yep, I gotta pull these headlights back out tomorrow. I gotta fix it where it's getting moisture in it. But. Yeah, I got a Milwaukee phone charger, but it ain't working. Did it? There we go. We're charging now, buddy. Make sure. Let's see. Is the breakers on? Turn it on. No, that's compressor. Hmm. How unprepared I am. Sorry, guys. Messing up the live right now. All right, Rex. We got to get some power going here, bud. You got a drop cord handy? Hmm? No, not the generator. I hope, I can't wait to see which one of y'all win the Duramax. So we're going to have to, we'd, I've failed on this one about, getting it out there but it is what it is my wife said she's like what are you gonna do i said we're gonna give it away it yeah where's the drop cord do you gonna do it and burn out do they want to see you do a burnout Um, Rooster's getting a set of float tires on it. And the new Argosy. Brax, where's all the drop cords? Let's see if it... Sorry, guys. All right, we're charging now. What are you doing in the baby? Well, what you're going to have to do is back it in here. You have to back the boat up. Okay, it's definitely this wall. Uh, 
The giveaway ends, I think it's the first week of January. Is when the giveaway ends. Oh, maybe this is why it ain't working. I always turn all my breakers off at night. There we go. The breaker wasn't on. When are we going to start on Johnny Cash breaks? We already started on it. We got the cab fixed on it the other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's lifted up now. All right, everybody hit the like button. We got to get up to 1,000 likes. We get up to 1,000 likes, we will do, the, we'll do a burnout and something. We'll either back the burnout truck in here or we'll do, um, well, if we, if we, big country said we need to clean up the shop. Yeah, I know, bad. All the guys are in trouble when they come back into work Monday or Tuesday. Where would a husband and wife team apply from Athens, Tennessee? Just come by. Um, if you come by, we'll uh, get you set up. Thousand likes, guys. We will do a burnout in something. Either a semi. I'm talking like we're going to do a massive burnout. You may want to go to the Tim, when are you building the shop on the farm? We're working on the shop on the farm. But now that we've got this place, that pl I mean, like, that kind of that fixed it where I didn't have to rush through that project. They want the uh, burnout truck. I don't want to destroy y'all's new tires on the giveaway truck. I think it's got brand new tires on it. House sneak peek. All right, guys, we're going to have to get the likes up. We're going to see some burnouts. Brax is going to back his burnout semi in here and do one. He's going to get it. All right, STN. I think the burnout big truck would be a lot better. Let's see. All right, we're at 873, guys. Yeah, the fire is taking a long time to get over. It's, I mean, we're a year in right now. January 4th is when that happened. What's the plan with the 579s? Uh, we're going to put the 579s on the road. What am I getting my dad for Christmas? Money. Uh, we're going to give him some money. When you gonna come drive my Camaro, Tim? Anytime, man. I like to drive Camaros. All right, we're at 900 likes. Holy crap, we're gonna have to do a burnout. Daggone. Here comes the cops. Uh, the temperature right now is about 30 degrees, 35. What's up, Bobby? Uh, nope, sold the uh, sold the yellow Peterbilt. Oh, you must be on Instagram and Facebook. All right, I guess since we got this many people in here, I can just I'm gonna go ahead and announce it anyway. Um, so the last thing that I purchased for this year, um, my tax guy said I needed to spend some money, so I did. And it was either give the money to Uncle Sam or buy a dino, and we bought a dino. So um, now everybody can quit naysaying about what I say our horsepower is on our truck. So now we'll be able to find out. Like, we won't even have to guess at it. We'll just know. So we bought a big uh, Mustang 7500 HD. Um, I hear the burnout truck. He's coming. All right, we're at 927. We're going to make it. 
I hear him coming. Yeah, we're about to smoke his whole entire shop up. It ain't going to be able to do no work. So the white 389, I'll give you guys, I'll make a video on that. It's, it's a whole video on the story of that truck. There he comes. Yep, we'll be dyno and customer trucks and That's the Eagle, baby. Golly bum guy. I can't believe we're getting into this right now. Dang it. Let me see where we're at on the phone. Yeah, we're going to go next year. So next show season, we're planning on going to all the big events, all big burnout or <laughs> truck events. All right, turn that thing around and hook the boat up. We're going to pull it out. Oh, it's about to get nasty in here. Yeah, we've got the ability to change frame rails. All right, guys, we're getting up there, 970. Come here, Holly. Here we go. We're going to blow the Duramac or the Eagle up tonight. If you miss your LB7, you can get even better. You get LBZ right here. Just got to go and uh, get entered. GentryandSonsTrucking.com, guys. Come here, Ollie. 986. Brax has got his truck warming up, guys. Thousand likes. We're doing a nasty burnout. Here he comes. Come here, Holly. Come on, babe. Oh, we got the Homestead Trucker in here tonight. If you guys hadn't went over and checked his channel out, he works for one of the competitors around here. But we like them, though, so they're good people. So they're not really competitors. They kind of pull different boats than us, but um, he got his YouTube channel going. He's actually doing really good. So go check out the Homestead Trucker. He's a good friend of mine. He's actually the one we bought this Eagle from. The one we're getting ready to do a burnout with come from the Homestead Trucker on YouTube. Back straight up, Brax. What truck would you put the team in? Uh, we've got Volvos, we got Max, we got Peterbilts, we got Freightliners, we got about anything. Come here, Holly. Come on. All right, whoa, that's good, Brax. Hey. Pull it down in uh, manual. Don't blow the dang tires off, though. Put it in two. You gotta hold your brake and just hold the gas. Oh, let me go back. They wanna see it black smoke. Do like a little, don't get crazy with it, okay? Because if you break it, I gotta fix it. Hold on. All right, go for it. Come on. That's good. That's good. <laughs> God dang. Don't blow the tires off of it. You're supposed to just hold it to the floor. Well, this thing sounds wicked. Come 
Yeah, we bum. Here we go. You guys are a bad influence. I'm gonna need my hood on in here. All right, let's hook this thing up. That's like nasty, ain't it? You should have turned the thing up. You just had it on level one. No, let's not do another. We'll use your truck. Does the truck come with Holly? No. No, Holly ain't going nowhere. I love her. Love her to death. Yeah, the Eagle's got a set of marine injectors in it now. The Eagle's bone stock, except it's got a good set of injectors in it. Huh? Braxton for president. Come on, Holly. Well, this escalated into not getting nothing done. I could do a burnout with a rooster, but Rob would probably kill me. Get your lights hooked up. Ah. Uh, they were acting up a little bit early. We'll fix that before she goes to her new haunters. Put the stock ones on. How are you going to put your jack up, bud? What? Jack. All right, dang, we're at thirteen hundred people, Brax. We're almost. We're going. We might make it to two thousand. All right, pull her out. Yeah, Rob would probably kill me if I did a burnout rooster. Back up a little bit. All right. Come here, Holly. You got it in manual mode? Turn your tow haul on. What? Tow haul manual mode. That way you don't lock your converter up. What gear you got it in? What gear is it in? First. All right, so the best way to do a burnout, Brax, if you go through first, like take it to red line and then click it into second. Like don't do it like for a long time, but you got to switch all the way up. Pull it out. Get it out of here. Enough for the burnout truck tonight. Come here, Holly. Whoa. Hold on, Brax. Let me see. Whoa, Brax. Let me see where Holly is. Never mind. Go on. She's back there. That kid's living his best life.
That kid is living his best life. Man, that thing sounds good. Fourteen hundred people. Man, it's gonna be a good live here, boys. This is gonna be a good one. What well, smells good in here? All right, he's got his truck over here loping. Hey, put Holly in there with you. I right, put it on two step. All right, whoa, 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 that's good. That got it. Didn't even think that one through, did I? Jesus. Yeah, he's about to uh, wag the shop out. <laughs> Dude, if I could have done this when I was a kid, oh my God. Come here, Holly. Holly, come here. Come on, babe. She's not liking this, I don't think. Come on. That truck right there is pretty nasty. That is a nasty little rig. Hope we don't hit the boat. Oh yeah, my dad would have probably murdered me. Rest in peace to the eagle. So this thing's pretty rare. I might have to do this one. Braggs could probably do it, but if he gets sideways or something in the shop, I don't know how he'd handle it. Come on, Holly. Come here, baby. Come on. Honey, you gotta just get out of the way tonight. Yeah, I seen it had a backup light out. Hold on, bro. Let me move that generator you moved in the way. Straighten up. That's good. All right, shut it down. All right, so Brax, I gotta figure out how we're gonna do this because I don't know if you can get off the clutch on the brake fast enough. Think you can? I mean, you can try it. I need to back them brakes off back here first. Huh? Oh, this one's got chambers on all four. All right. 
You're gonna have to hold the camera. I'll back the brakes off. You got them released? Uh, no. I'll just put it in gear. So, bro. Actually, I know where it's. Okay. Put it in gear. I like the Dermax. I might want to win it. It's pretty good by now. Paper smells not too bad. Huh? Paper smells kind of good. Oh. I made the third gear in the Dermax. Yeah, I know. I heard we hit third gear out of the road. There goes the tires. I think we'll get them on it. Yeah. I'd say you just got the entries up. Yeah. That like me. All right, guys. So what I'm doing here is releasing the brakes on this thing on the back. Some reason they tightened back up on us the last time we done this. They did? Yeah, it's been home since we did the Which one's spin on this thing? Which one's spin on it? Oh, uh, they should all spin. <coughs> yeah, you're gonna just glide around. Uh, Wish you still had the LTD. I know. Yeah, it was done. Yeah, mm, I broke it. I broke it just a little bit. Pretty good. Right, <coughs> Loosen up. Get that tire up. Is this one keeps going flat, so I need to blow it off. Are you going to blow it out? Huh? I guess it's time for you to learn how to drive this rig on the burnout. So. <laughs> I can't believe it. All these. We got a lot of bad influences on our channel, Brett. Right? Your mom's gonna kill us here in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be worth it, though. Yeah. <clears throat> you can burn out the way you move out, then. I think starting to sound weird and start weird. You reading the comments and talking to them? Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, I'll back these brakes off. 
He said, burn out. Burn out, burn out. Oh. Getting there. Yep. <clears throat> Almost there. So, is this thing blown up tonight, too? Or is it just gonna stay apart? You're gonna blow it up. Well. You don't wanna operate it. Which one ever blows? Tires or whatever. One of them blows. You got complete and total control of this burnout, Brent. I'm not going to say you got to do it. Yeah. That's true. Pretty sure they are, right? What gear are you going to do then? I would do it about eight. Thanks. Never drive gear. Alright. Drive shaft looks kind of new, isn't it? Alright, uh, maybe I've got a tire real quick. Alright. Yeah. Once you get them up that clutch, you got to get on the brake. Yeah. Kind of hold them still. So you got to rev it up about 3,000 RPMs and just come off the clutch a little bit. And when you start feeling that turbo start to split, when that boost gauge starts coming in a little bit, just dump it. And then once you dump it, just let her go. <laughs> and if something bad happens, oh well. Got two trips. At least we got it on video. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got a tow truck. Yeah. Good thing you paused it, Brad. Yeah. All right, get there. Oh, yeah. Uh, 1140. 1100, that's a weight loss, son. I think it's for the burnout. Uh oh. We get the starting fluid out. You know what that means? What? Uh, starting fluid out. Yeah. Ooh. Guys, don't do this at home. Right here. Hey, you know the stand up bird. You know the 389 that we repoed? Yeah. I saw it at Sweetwater the other day. The old one? Yeah. Fourteen hundred sixty-one people. That actually went pretty good. Yeah. I did that one uh, on the trailer to the YFOD and it all on fire. William Van Hooten, that's pretty awesome, brother. SH Tube's a great place. You guys are awesome. Yep, Glenn, that is true. We are self-insured now. We got some good insurance now. We ain't got to deal with all the bull crap. It'd be nice if the handbrake on the steering wheel or pulled the brakes. Tim, are you building a new shop on? We are still building a new shop, yes. 
We've outgrown this place already. I mean, we're gonna be using this place still. We're gonna always probably keep the company out here for like, it's really convenient about going to a lot of the boat companies, especially the new ones we're working with. So we'll probably build motors out here. Um, I guess we need to do a farm video, huh? We've been excavating over there, guys. Maybe Brax can do a bigger burnout than his dad did in the parade last year. <laughs> What's the heaviest load I've ever pulled a rooster? Uh, I don't know. Probably, uh, I'd say probably 150,000, 180,000. You can do the first one. You want me to test it? Make sure it's going to do it? Okay. It's up to you, Brax. It is up to you, buddy. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, I'll do it. And if you do, whoa. We're missing a socket. That's not good. That is not good. Mm -hmm. Alright, I just Five. seen a comment that I want to reply to. Oh, is there a specific reason for building, building a heavy spec cab over? Yes, so um, you guys are going to see this in the next video. So we just did a video on the new trailer and the heavy spec cab over. Uh, guys, that trailer stretches out to like almost 80 feet long. So factory length is 53 feet. It stretches out to almost 80 feet. So at 80 feet long, pulling rooster in somewhere uh, is like, it's just... I mean, rooster is a job to get in anywhere with just a 53 footer. So having a shorter wheelbase, and I wanted a truck that had a heavy frame, which the Argosies already have that because they're stingers. Um, they factories, turn. yeah, and they turn on a dime. They ain't got a big old hood out in front of them. It's got a 6NZ in it with a 13 speed already. So all I got to do is put cam injectors, turbo, and tune it to make it to where it pulls like rooster does. And... They're comfortable as heck. Them Argosies are so comfortable. They're really good cab overs. And plus, why not? I mean, if we can have a heavy haul cab over, we're having a heavy haul cab over, ain't we? Yeah. You gonna do a burn up for five minutes? Uh, yeah, we do use some day cabs. Yeah, and plus it'd be lighter. And I mean, there's a lot of perks t to it. Um, and them Argosies, they're just comfortable, man. They're, they're cattle. Other than getting up in them, um, that's the only thing, which I need to exercise anyways. I need to lose a little weight. So. Sorry, guys. I thought I had the camera turned around. All right, we're at 1,171 likes. I guess that means we can do a burnout now. You got the tire on. Five minutes. All right, so you want me to do the first one, you said? Yeah. Um. I mean, Brax, all there is to it, son, is to do it. Yeah. I can test it and make sure it's going to go in the right direction, but then you're going to have to do it. People want to see you do it. Yeah. So you hold it for the four, yeah, guys, we're not working. We were planning on working, but then it escalated into this. So now we're creating more work for ourselves because when we blow this thing up, we got to fix it because it's going to a burnout competition here soon. All right, I'll test it. Here, you want to hold the phone? You want to go from back there and behind it? Yeah. You sure about this, Brax? Yeah. I guess you want to blow tires off for me. Hey, you got to hold it. I'll make sure you hold the phone right. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to video your phone, too? Yeah. They didn't want to see what you do burn out, so. How long are you going to go? 
Where? Yeah. Okay. Till it starts making a funny noise, then. Till it starts making a funny noise? Yeah. Alright, it's gonna be a stuff you're really great. Sure you want me in here? I'm here. I'll do it quick for you. And then you go outside. Yeah. Okay. Well, what kind of thing is that? Yeah, we're good. Here we go. I'm like leasing cars. I got smoky. <laughs> Make sure it's in neutral. It wasn't here. Locker uh, Did this one spin? It's the back front one. Gotta test it out. Make sure everything goes right. Need some of them wheel chops to in front of wheels. It'll hold. Oh, okay. That was uh, that was ninth gear. <laughs> or soapy water. All of them. I don't know if this one's spinning or not. It's a back mm -hmm. one. Hold on, I got a point. Make it a little easier. What is it? I need some water. Hey, yeah, someone coming in here. Said water. Put some water. Yeah, let's get some water. Slippery water. Wish we had the wall. Like a wall over here. Just put it against it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so water hose? Yeah, I need a but. Hmm. Ooh, right here. Ooh. This is pretty much empty. Yeah. What, what's what is that? Mackie. This is my good slate. Get some out of the sink. Where are the hose? Hey, look. I think it's pretty good. As it started moving forward. Yeah, it's pushing the front tire. All the traction. Hey. If it rained one day. Life's still been good. Ooh, crack, full, crack. It's just a little full. It's just a little full. Just a little bit. You guys are sucking at Get her good and sleepy here, my gosh, I'll get her going good. We'll dry that up. It does. Yeah. You want to do the burnout in this? Yeah. And I'll do the one in the 
Baby Falcon. Yeah, you can do that. And we'll start practicing on this one day. I wish we did it in FOD when we were in the dirt. All right, there we go. Yeah. Come on. Come on, brother. 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 Come on,
Let me see where we're at on battery life. Is it still spinning? Oh, the fire department is definitely coming. <laughs> the fire department's definitely coming. Yolly bum. Man, this thing is nasty, boys. How'd it sound? So loud. Was it? Mm -hmm. Boy, it's hurting my ears. All right, well, that's a good test burnout. And we're going to get us a burnout pad put in. All right, so got to get the lockers figured out. Um, it did good on water temp, good, to, good on EGTs. Clutch did good because that was ninth gear. Actually, let's see. For the 13th speed, that'd be like 10th gear. Actually, we're in there. Yeah, I might need to call the fire department and tell them not to come. All right, Brax. Now, I don't think Bruce and Scanny has got much on this, but when he gets that new motor in it, it might be a different story. I don't know what kind of horsepower we're putting out of this thing, but um, I mean, if that ain't if that ain't over four hundred horsepower, there's something wrong. What do you think it is? I think it's a thousand. I'd say it would eat Rooster's lunch, and I bet you Rooster's ever bit eight hundred. Well, we ain't got the dyno yet, so we're still working on getting the dyno here. We got to get here, we got to get the building put up, and then get it installed. Because it's not going in here, it's actually going in its own little building. I might actually put it on, like, right beside that building, put, a, like, a lean-to out, because it's going to be on, on a concrete pad, like it'll be in the ground. I would say this thing's every bit of a thousand horsepower. I mean, I could be totally wrong. I could be way off, but I've just, I don't know. I just feel like it's a thousand horsepower plus. The tuner thinks, uh, Lawrence says definitely over a thousand horsepower, but that's an 80, it's an 86 or 87 millimeter turbo on it, or 88 millimeter turbo, and you guys seen it lights it like that. I mean, that's in that's in high on the high range, high gear, and it it just lit that turbo up like it was nothing. Yes, that's it is a stock motor. Other than it's got injectors in it, it's got a little bit better of a cam in it, and it's got a uh, um, that big 88 millimeter turbo. Yeah, the torque's where it's at. It's, I'd say it's every bit of 3,000 foot-pounds of torque. Here they come. Oh, that's Braggs. Oh, he's wanting to do a burnout. All right, we're going to teach Braggs how to do a burnout in this truck real quick. Before we sign off the live, i got to start working on this. <clears throat> I'd love to be president. I guarantee you we'd be having a lot better luck than we are right now. Guys, we almost made it to 2,000 um, viewers. We made it to 16 or 1,700, didn't we? You want to do a burnout nest now? This would be a good one for you to learn in. Alright, you get in there? Let me move this truck. I need to go put Holly up. Go on, baby. You can go home. Let's go to the house or let me go put her up. Pull this thing up out of the way and then it ain't got no brakes now, remember that. Alright guys, we got one more burnout left in us for Brax and then we're gonna call it a night.
Man, that little Detroit gets her done. Oh my God. What has them dogs done? Ashley is going to flip. Yeah, Holly's my girl. All right, one more burnout, guys. Go ahead and go park it. The tires are still taking on gravel. Now the stacks were rusted out on it, Homestead Trucker. Brax has got him some badass stacks for it though. Excuse my language. That's literally what they're called. I think it sounds good. Yeah, is that there's a lot. So the way the brake pedal is in that truck, when you go to let out on to do the burnout in it, it's an, it's pretty to get. You got to get the RPMs way up on it, like. That was like 4,100 RPMs when I turned loose of the clutch. So you got to get the RPMs up, start letting out on the clutch, and once the turbo starts lighting up, then you can just let her eat. But Yep, everybody go just subscribe to the Homesteader Trucker channel. Homestead Trucker. He's actually the person that sold me that truck that just done the burnout. Like eight years ago six seven eight years ago there's another little nasty duramax we're building brax is out there on the two-step What the heck is he doing? You want to go see the new trailer? All of them's all tucked in for the break. It's Christmas break, guys. They're all tucked in nice and they got to get washed tomorrow. All of them's getting washed tomorrow. What all trucks did y'all wash today? I'm gonna blow what up? Your burnout truck? You ain't gonna burn that thing up. That's a Detroit. That's a daddy built Detroit, son. Yeah, I'll give you blow it up. I'll buy you a brand new one. I'll get $2,000. I'll see it. I bet it'd take a 100 shot a night or 300 shot. I'll do a thousand shot. You should have washed the 389. I wish it's already clean in it. Yeah. You got your light. Spinner's dirty. Oh, this thing's wicked. You shiny, oh, yes. You shiny, boys. Mm. Let's see. Have you seen the turbo going on Bruce's next motor, Tim? Oh, yeah. I've seen it. I ain't too worried about that little old Scania, are we? Mm -hmm. Bruce is my buddy, but I ain't too worried about it. We just put some bigger turbo on that. 
Do we need to put a bigger turbo? I don't think you need a bigger. I think you just need nitrous. Mm -hmm. Nitrous and just go ahead and just weld the diffs up. That way there ain't no chance of them coming unlocked. Yeah. I like the brakes being on that front lever. So then you just hold them like right Yep. So guys, how many people on here is actually in, in the giveaway? Like who went onto the website and got entered? And if you don't have the money to enter, you can send on a postcard, guys. You don't have to, like, you don't have to spend money to enter it. It's just if you want to sponsor the channel, every $5 you spend, you know, uh, does get you an entry. You know, that's just to support the channel. But if you ain't got the money, we understand completely. You don't have to, enter, you know, we want everybody to be able to get entered. So... We have 1,500 people in here. If everybody, if all 1,500 people in here and went and entered the giveaway right now, holy crap, Johnny Cash is getting built. 1,500 orders tonight, Johnny Cash is getting built. That's That would be like a world record. I don't even know if that would ever even be possible. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dang, it's a U.S. thing. Sorry, guys. That'd be kind of hard. Keep on trucking. I appreciate it. Bandit Grizzly. Grizzly. Well, go get entered anyways. Go, Just go on there. You can see. Go to the website, and it tells you how to get entered without having to buy anything. I want everybody to have a chance. Callie Bum, here she is, boys. Here's Johnny Cash. I know y'all want to hear this thing run. This thing's going to be sweet. Yep. Well, we got the cab jack fixed on it. So we are got started there. Got the pump on it. Oh. Yep, this is the viewer's choice truck right here. So the pump's on it now. It could possibly run. I can't tell you though. Um, I do have. I'm still waiting on the oil feed line. I'm just gonna make my own at this point. But pumps on it, all that stuff. It's it's back together. Everything's back together on it. And it will start, but I don't want to start with no oil going to the turbo. Yep. So uh, I did get the trailer. I just talked to Stan the other day. The next good dry day that we have on a decent day, I'm going to go up there and pick it up. I ended up, I'm just buying everything out of the whole trailer. That's what we've been waiting on. Um, whoa, hold on. Let me see this comment. This guy says, no disrespect, not being a hater. All right, you guys are going to have to answer this one. No disrespect, not being a hater, but maybe you could tell us why these trucks are so special, each and every one, so we could understand a little bit better. Guys, y'all want to answer that? It ain't the fact that they're just special. It's just what they are. It's old school. Like, this company's built with old school trucks. Now, I didn't go out and go into debt and buy a bunch of new trucks. We worked from the ground up with what little bit of money we could come up with, and... These old trucks is what built our company. And most people on this channel relate to that, is the way I feel about it. Most everybody on here is relatable. We ain't all got a bunch of money to go out and buy a bunch of trucks. We just like our old junk. Okay, so Johnny Cash, the reason Johnny Cash is so special um, is because the owner that had it, it was in Knoxville. It's built with like five different trucks. It's a true Johnny Cash truck. Um, like it's super special truck. And back in the day, it was that was the baddest truck on the road back in the day. A stretched out cab over that would run over 100 mile an hour. That thing was just wicked. All right, you think you can do a burnout? Maybe. If you blow it up, we'll put the LS in it. I don't want to blow it up. You ain't nitrous? Where is the nitrous at? Right in the corner. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. 
Turn your wheel straight. Don't run over my shop now. No, other way. That way. All right, there you go. You know what you got to do, right? You get it wide open and floor it, lay it out on the clutch, and then hold your brake at the same time. Once you dump the clutch, get on the brake. So go real fast off the clutch onto the brake. And don't, like, if you if it gets crazy with you, just kill it or put your foot back on the clutch and get it stopped. Don't go through the wall. Okay? Woo! <laughs> All right, what gear was you in? <laughs> huh? That was first? All right, back up and get second. <laughs> Try it in second gear. Oh, you're probably good right there. Y'all didn't think it was a wheel hopping? Try it in second. That was second? All right, back it back up and try it again. All right. Try it. Try again in a second. Is that wide open? Try, all right, see if you can blow it up. <laughs> I think it's pretty good, Brax. Go to first, yeah. Guys, yeah, this kid can actually drive. God, I can't believe this. We got to get our shop clean back up. Back on it. All right, pull back up. All right. Hold on, let me check your tire. Oh, you got plenty of tread left, bro. Let me check this out, huh? How's this thing got a rev limiter? It's got a carburetor. All right, so it, when you're in second gear, when it starts, uh, so after you get going good, yeah. let off your brake for a second and then get back on it, and then that way it'll unlock your back brakes. Try it one more time. Try it in second and do it that way. All right, there you go. This thing's about to throw a rod. It's got to. Crazy. <laughs> You're ready to fill out. Golly, bum. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to get you some cow tracks for it for sure. I can't believe it didn't blow up. Let's see what it does. Not blowing up. Your engine light come on. Brax, you're gonna be cleaning this shop tomorrow. I hope you know that. All right, let's see the let's see what's under the hood of this thing, Brax. <laughs> Why? Why? You have you opened it before like that? So we do have an LS motor to go in this thing, guys. They want to see it blow up, Brax. 
you think you can? We were going to donate this motor to a kid, though. That one, like, Steve's son's wanting it. I don't think we could blow it up. I mean, if you drain something out of it, sure, but I don't think it's going to blow up. Is it a V6 or four cylinder? Dang, we got some mixed. We got some mixed emotions going on here. Some's blow it up. Some's give it away. <laughs> I'd about be willing to buy the kid a new motor just so we could blow it up. All right. So another comment I got to go over. Does Braxton get the money from the new boat trailer? As it's his truck, you said was designated pool truck. And the trailer is wild. So, nope. So, Braxton's truck is still staying a stinger. He's still pulling boats with his truck. We have two matching Argosies. We got the two sister trucks. Um, so, my truck will actually be the one pulling it. They, I don't know if it's going to blow, Braxton. Come here. Let me do a burnout and see what it does. Did he? Devin did a burnout in it? Yeah. He used to put transmission oil in it when he used to own it. Before Bryce bought it from him. Yeah. It's already leaking something, I think. It's leaking water or something. It's got a little leak. We're planning this shop on one of my hotel. I'll do anything. This shop is getting cleaned up. I'll just sleep in. You can sleep in. You don't have to turn the shop off. Oh. Burn them off. Yeah. yeah. Load up. So you can fill it.
Hold on. I don't want to blow up. Blow up. <laughs> it was leaking a bunch of stuff, but was it? it was leaking a bunch of rain. Uh, Woo! Coolant. Golly, but the fire department definitely coming now. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> She's definitely got something going on under there now. <laughs> I can't open the hood. But yeah, that thing might blow. Oh, the radio hose. oh man. It could blow up out of town. you are such a bad influence, brother. Yolly bum. How much tire we got left? No way. There ain't no way there's that much tire left. It's like brand new steel. Was it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's about to blow, buddy. Ooh. That was on, like, this thing's carbureted, ain't it? Yeah, it's carbureted. So I don't even think it has a rev one. That was floating the valves. Oh man. Now we need to put the LS in it. Oh, we'll probably still be running on these tires for a while. That was out of this thing? Yeah. Yeah, I think it already had a blowed head gasket or something. Yeah, I know. It's a shame. Poor little old truck. We could have donated it to the guy in Jamaica. Or where at? In Africa. We could have sent it over to Africa and fed the kids with it. Yeah, we're going to definitely have to get us a burnout pad. Definitely gonna have to get us burned. Guys, we have held 1,500 subscribers for a long time now. Heck yeah. We gotta get to 1,500 likes. I use, all right, so the headset I use is the bone. It's a bone by, whoa, don't mess up the hood. Hold on. Don't take the fry part of the hood. I'll get it open, buddy. Y'all, are you really about to do that? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Brax can blindside better than me. Look, people are driving by. They're like, what in the hell is going on over there? <laughs> I guarantee you the fire department's coming. Guaranteed. The fire department is coming. All right, if the fire department comes, we've got to back this thing back in real fast and just light it up. Like, when you hear them coming, it's got to go back in and just light her up until it blows. Yeah, huh? Mm -hmm. I need to get the hood to where it'll open up. And catch the engine on fire? Well, just in case it does catch it on fire, we can... I, we, got, I don't I want got, the truck to burn because we're putting LS in it. This is what we're taking to Cleges and Cars in April. We got two fires. Yeah, we have got a bad to the bone built motor for this thing. Hey, grab some pliers. Golly, bum, there's so much rubber in that floor. <laughs> you got the fire extinguisher. for sure. <laughs> Oh, you're like the best kid ever. I don't know what I've done wrong with you, but I love it. We can probably tire that before now. This is America, baby. It is. 
I don't know what rear ends in this thing, guys, but it took that wheel hop. I mean, we wheel hop the crap. I finally got it to stick, but it took a minute. I had to clutch dump it four or five times. The fire department coming? Oh, the Ford. Where? The Ford? Yeah. The new Ford? We got a spare tire. Golly, bum. I hope the fire department comes. I really, we need that action. Stone on fire. <laughs> no, we can't do that. Surely, God, somebody's called them. Yeah, I need to open that hood. Look at all the smoke over through there. That's all from us. All right, everybody's wanting to back her back in. They want to see you blow that rear tire off, Rex. Let's get the hood right open and we'll, we'll blow her up. God, you guys are bad influences. Who asked if we had the, uh, the lower dirt? The lower dirt bank's in here, is it? Oh, yeah, they do some nasty burnouts of that thing. All right, Brax, give me some pliers. Let's get this hood open. Um, just needle nose or anything. Anything I can pop her open with. Whoever roots is gonna have a hard time topping this one. All I got to say. We need the next video, guys. You all need to go in there and tell Bruce to go top this live. I want to see that burnout or his his truck back in there. And, hey, what trucks we want Bruce to do burnout with? No, like his trucks. He's got to top this. He's got to top this live somehow. No. Right, yeah. Bruce has got to top this live somehow. With a burnout. I mean, I think we need burnouts for Christmas is what we need. Well, I got extra what is all that flashing lights over in town? You see that? I wonder what's going on over there. I got a spare tire for this. You do? Yeah. Oh, well, God, what are we waiting on? We got two. Uh, I think I'm just easy to manipulate, probably. All right. All right, Braggs, I'm coming. Let's get this hood where it opens. Devin did? Yeah. Better than ours? Mm, no. Is that, I'd be hard to top what we just done with it. We put transmission fluid on the tires. Yeah. We just put gas in the tires. Yeah, Madisonville's definitely cloudy tonight. Yes. All right, they don't want you to not stop until there's no rubber left. Yeah. Like, you got to go until it blows. Okay. You got it? If you blow the motor up, we'll put the LS in it this week. Yeah. God dang it. I can't keep saying stuff like that. We got to get that Peterbilt done. Which one? You keep adding more projects to me, Brax. Uh oh. All right. Let me see. Did you break the cable in here? Yeah, it like untwisted and it pulled out. Oh, from my way out there? How, how much cable? Ooh, like... Oh, I love it. Well, shoot. You got a lot? Mm -hmm. 
Let's see here. How are we going to do this? This was? Yeah, I can't see. Let me see. This is real. Yeah, I don't want to mess the... Oh, yeah, the cable's plumb gone out of it. It is untangled from our... Uh, this one. Hmm. Yeah, this ain't gonna be easy to get open, Brax. Oh man. I like his grill. I don't wanna mess the grill up. Well, this is just dangling in there. Is it? It's Where's the uh, skid steer at? Go get the skid steer that way. If, in case it does catch on fire or something, we can just rip the hood off of it or something. We got to finish this thing off real quick. Guys, I don't know how much for a dyno test yet. Like, we got to get it installed and get all it working first. All right, we're going to see if Brax can't finish these tires off. See, if we had a burnout pad outside, then you could see the smoke all the way in Athens. Yeah, I believe it'll stay pretty busy. When she gets here, she'll be busy, baby. We're gonna have a we are gonna have a Christmas party tomorrow. I hadn't really got a hold of none of the guys yet. I gotta call them, tell them we're having a Christmas party tomorrow. My wife's gonna kill me. I forgot all about it. Oh yeah, we got the dock right here. We do have a burnout pad. What, the, what am I even thinking? Brax, we got a burnout pad right here. You know what? I said we got a burnout pad right there. The dock. Dang guys, we're up to 1500 likes. What? What is it? Oh, I know there's something going on over in town. That's why they ain't bothering us. We gotta get. We gotta get louder, boy. Get louder, okay? Let's see what you got. Let's see if we can get the cops over here. How about that? Or the fire department? I don't think he's got it, anybody. He's up there in the that or the speedometer area. Man, that thing just fired right back up. Hey, did you see how I was letting off the brake and getting back on it? You need some water? You better blow this tire, Brax. All right, hold on. Boys, this is really escalated into a dang fiasco. If it starts hopping, just let out of it. Let it slow down a little bit. 
get back in it, and then well, you'll you'll find your rhythm. Boys, I got bail money in my pocket. We're good. Uh, first, I guess do first. All right, pull up a little bit. All right, let her rip, Taylor Chip. What the heck? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, heck. Come on, Brax. Dang, you blowed the tire, Brax. Yeah. You literally destroyed this. <laughs> you still got one more tire left. Huh? Yeah, give her a little rev limiter. I don't think you're blowing it up. <laughs> All right. I don't think you're going to be able to blow it up, but we're going to have to put some nitrous on it. All right, it's LS time, buddy. We could definitely donate this motor because this is a good motor. That kid blows this motor up, he's doing something. Got a little bit more. Um. Thank you, Red Monkey Trucking. <laughs> He's dying to blow it up. I'm just going to let him just blow it some other rings. I got a nitrous bottle I can put on it. I ain't got it here, though. Yeah, we're going to definitely, uh, I'm going to donate this motor. I mean, heck, seems like a good one. Things escalated so bad here, guys.
Huh? Where's your other tire at? Yeah, I think this live is going to be hard to talk for a lot of people. We're still at like 1,500 people. Holding strong, baby. Yeah. Buddy, look at all this rubber. We got a lot of cleaning up. I guarantee you, your papa's watching this right now. And uh, I bet. <laughs> Boy, back when he owned the shop back in the day, he'd have killed me if I'd done this. This is why I'm such a bad influence of a dad. But I love it. So when that thing goes to uh, Cletus and Cars, we're taking it to win, guys. I need every one of y'all there to support it. Yeah, we're definitely going to retitle this live. Rex, look at all the coolant underneath. That coolant was already pretty nasty. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I flushed it out, too. And you flushed it? Yeah. Or I didn't get to the very bottom. Like, I wish that hood would open. No, we're going to win the burnout competition. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to video when Dad comes in. I promise you I will. Wait till we get Weston down here. You two together? Golly, bum. First thing Weston done when Brax was out there with us last time. Puts him in something with a thousand horsepower and says, blow it up. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Number two was like two peas in a pod. Now I just got to let Braxton do some projects. You got to build something crazy. They want to see this thing done. They let swap. Well, I mean, if you want to take it, they'll let fast looking good. You don't want to do that. We'll get it over. We'll take the grill out of it. What do you think Papa's going to say about the floor? <laughs> I'm not chewing. I got a darn... Let me show you what I got in. Got the Rogue in. And I'm down to like, I only put like two pouches in a day, guys. So I quit smoking or vaping, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, all right, pull this thing outside. And, uh, you're not allowed to drive nothing else tonight. What else can we blow the tires off of? Oh, the Escalade. We gotta put a motor in it anyway. What start? Is it all wheel drive? You sure? I mean, we could do a pretty nasty burnout with that thing, and I could spray nitrous through it. Well, I thought the lie was gonna end. Go get the Escalade. Come on. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> They're burning out. Be scared.
Yeah, like boom, he kills me. God dang, he's gonna get the damn cops over here. All right, he's going to get the Escalade. So got the oh I forgot I was answering a comment. So rogue is just a nicotine like it's just a little pouch of nicotine in it I guess. They're good as heck I can tell you that. He's want me to bring rooster in here and do burnout with it earlier I said no. Rob kill us. Oh, burnout time and Escalade. I don't think it's saying it. I'm pretty sure it's all wheel drive. Brack says his name, but. Hey, when Rooster gets some new, it's time for some new tires. I, I thought about it the other day. I thought I might do a little burnout with it or something. We ain't got much tire left. Rob's building a burnout truck too. You guys, if you hadn't been over to SH Tube, they, um, they had what's his name on there. Uh, oh, dang, my mind just went blank. Oh, dang, that's Clay fired up. Yeah, Rooster's been through enough. I couldn't do that to him. Hey, this old truck right here gets her done, boys. He got her fire. He's just cold revving the heck, heck out of it. Brax let y'all out. Oh, Mama's gonna be mad tomorrow. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all, I seen what y'all done to the front door. Mom's gonna kill you. Did it? Yeah. How's this thing sound? Give us a cold rev. It really don't sound that bad. It's cold though. It was definitely making some noises the other day. All right, pull it in there, I'll see what it'll do. I don't think it'll do it. It's that cam, boys. So this thing's getting a pro charger put on it. Tony Justice, yeah, Tony Justice is up there. So if y'all haven't seen that live, go check out uh, Rob's live. Did you? I think it's got a lifter down or something in it. Huh? Hey, if this one won't do it, the other Escalade will, because it's two-wheel drive, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, let's see what you can do. I don't think you can. I don't think you can do it. I think that it's four wheel drive though. We'll have to tie it to something probably. All right, pull it down in manual. You got traction control off? I'm pretty sure this thing's all-wheel drive. But she's hitting a lick, ain't she? You got traction control off? It has a button right there. Is it a service? 
traction? Oh, well, if it don't work, then it's even better. <laughs> See if it's all-wheel drive. Yeah, it's all-wheel drive. It ain't gonna do it. Unless we tied it to something and then put water under all the tires. Listen to this thing, guys. It sounds wicked. It's got a little lope to it. It was the first one I ever built for my wife. And then my mom drove it for years. I see. I'm gonna look and see if it's four wheel drive. No. Yeah, but it's four wheel drive. Dang. You know what we could do though? We could hook it to the skid steer. Do a four wheel drive burnout. I think it'll do it. I'd hate to drag the dump truck off the jack. Oh yeah, I forgot to have Them lifters are pegging. You think it'd drag the dump truck off the boards? We got a chain. Actually, just back the skid steer. Let's we'll pull that out. Back the skid steer in. Skid steer, hold it. Yeah, that skid steer, hold it. I hope it would. Oh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, them lifters are gone, buddy. We got to get her. Oh, buddy, we're going to pull the fuse. Well, if we have to, we'll pull the fuses out of it. This thing's doing a burnout. All right, let's pull back. Let's, we need a skid anchor. Oh, Lord. This live is going to be talked about all through YouTube. Here we go, guys. Dag on it. Brax, just pull it straight in. I think it's got good anchors on the back. Oh, now we got a skid anchor, guys. We can hook anything to it. All right, everybody go comment on your Facebooks everywhere and let them know we got the most epic live going on on YouTube right now. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're real good. What thing's hammering out there? Do what? <laughs> Need some new shoes for. All right. Back again, bud. You sure that nitrous ain't here? I'm pretty sure we got a nitrous ball here full of nitrous. The drivers are probably like, what in the heck are they doing over there? 
This thing's definitely blowing up. This thing's rough right now. Yeah, it's not sounding too good, is it? Poor little ALS is about to go to heaven. That's good. You got a chain? Look, guys, he's going to be a little YouTuber. Look at him. <laughs> He's over getting this video. Pictures went on the RGN. Alright, uh, a chain? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where is RGN? There's one. Uh, oh, it's hey, I just had a. What did I do with that chain the other day? If not, the record. Uh, That's a wet chain, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yeah, she's loping, baby. All right, find us a chain. <laughs> oh, this is about to be magnificent, guys. I'm telling you right now. I've always wanted to do this, an all-wheel drive burnout. Oh, this thing's throwing a rod tonight, for sure. I need to check the oil in it. I'm gonna check the oil in it and dump some in it. I love my mom to death, but she is not good at maintenance. But it lasted her a while, though. It's... Is it way over full on? That's even better. Maybe she's really good at maintenance now. All right, come here. Mm. Give me a towel off this. Brake clean and transmission oil in the oil. You want to blow this little motor up? All it needs is lifters, I think. I thought we were going to put that I'm going to put a blower in it. I thought you were going to put that motor up. Yeah, I mean, if this one's no good, if this one just needs lifters and a cam, it's going to get a bigger cam and lower cam and a blower. You don't have to blow it up. I don't think you'll blow it up. I'm pretty sure it's just lifters. I'll blow it up. Uh, if you blow her up, I'll be surprised. It's LS. It's like at S10. She's either chunking rods or she's not. That one, when I was first pulled down there, started smoking. All right, let's get her hooked up. We got to get a chain. You're going to have to hold this for a minute while I go get a chain. Okay. It's, and uh, something start going. <laughs> All right, guys, we're holding 1,400 strong. I'm going to go grab a chain real quick. This is as much as it wrapped up all the way down there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, chug rods. That's good. You want to do that. Definitely want to drink rods.
I know there's one in the garage. What percent is this thing on? I do. Yeah. Someone said they'll pay $10 if I blow it up. $10? Yeah, so I have to blow it up now. Go to the right a little bit. Alright, let me see where you're parked. We're probably going to have to find a nitrous bottle. Oh, let me get you some. You got traction control off? Unlock the doors. I don't know if it's going to do it or not. We're going to find out. Oh, I need to put some air in this front tire. Oh, crap. My knee just went out. Mm. What? Dang. Their knee just went out, right? Weird. That's not eight today. Hold on, let me get. We put a little air in that tire. It might drag the skid steer. This is really going to be really awesome, or it's going to suck. Yeah, we might have to do another live tomorrow if we won't do it, because we're going to do it now. Even if we have to go get the nitrous. There, I'll do this. I put a whole shelf of uh, liquids in it. Got a bunch of different gases, liquids, and oil, and lots of different stuff. We do a burn out dirt bike. We do a uh, uh, burn out and dirt bike. Yeah, we're going to have something for you, man. Well. Here, hook up the charger from where you Okay. Crit. Charging. Yeah, we're good. He's charging. Have the phone. You got traction? You said it's off. Let me see how much battery life. All right, dog. Listen, it's all-wheel drive, so it's going to try to drive a certain way. Just don't let it go into the walls. All right. Let's see what happens. Try it and see what happens. No way! He is doing it! 
What? Turn the drag control off. You turn it off? Yeah, try it again. You got it, manual? Huh? <laughs> oh, crap, boys. Here we go. All right, give her hell. she goes, I guess. We need nitrous. All right, try it again. Do I have a mask? Yeah. I need some more soap. Wait, what is this? Oh, we got power steering fluid. Even better. Dang. Brag, put her on the limiter, baby. Blow it up. Make Dad proud. Come on, baby, you can do it. Huh. Is it saying anything about traction control? Is it flashing? Let me get in there. <coughs> oh, God, them tires stink. Let me see what this thing's going. Yeah, going on here. That's wide open. All right, traction control. Where are we at here? I think that might be the issue right here. All right. There we go. That's all she's got, boys. All right, we need nitrous. Dang it. We're going to have to save her for tomorrow for nitrous. We gonna have to have some nitrous, Brax. You said the nitrous? Oh, it's in the Dodge, ain't it? Down at the farm. I know where it's at. That was oil, guys.
All right, guys, we're going to have to resume this live with the nitrous bottle. So I guess we'll do a Christmas special. 150 shot. We're going to, have to put the nitrous kit on it, and we're coming back to this, and we're going to make this happen. Huh? It's it's got plenty of oil in it. Or like different kinds. Like brake cleaner stuff. That dry kit. We can put that whole 150 shot of dry kit on it, and I guess things gonna rip. I think you need to refill the bottle. Up. Refill both both of them. Put them both on there. Well, if you did both, like, hold. Yep. Um, they want us to try the other Escalade now. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's all-wheel drive. But this one, the motor's already acting up in it, so I, I don't care to put nitrous on this one. No, I, let me rephrase that. This one is getting nitrous tomorrow. We done started a whole new thing. Huh? Yeah, we tried. We failed. No, I mean, we just succeeded in a lot of things, but... one of them. Yep. Open two. One Guys, we had... So, I put power steering fluid and soap and water on it. It just ain't going to... It just ain't got that gumption to get it going. Once it gets going, it would probably go good. It first started doing pretty good. It was doing pretty good at first. I mean, I'm willing to give it one more shot with soap and water. Unless it has rubber in the tires now. You want to give it one more shot? Yeah. What is the most slippery thing we got in this place? Right. All right, hold on, guys. We're going to give it one more shot. That I got I got a whole bunch of good stuff right here. This stuff's really good. Yeah, this is that one stuff. We need soap or water. Go back here and help me real quick, Brax. I wonder if this is doing any good yet. Oh yeah, look at there, boys. I think I still got a long night ahead of me now because this live has went on so long. I got the solution right here, buddy. If it won't spin with this, then. This stuff mixes like 100 gallons of, oh yeah. It does. Yeah. Do you want to blow the motor up now? What? The motor is going to blow it up tonight. And, the, and this? Or for Christmas. Oh, we're going to, the Christmas special, we're going to put nitrous on it. Oh yeah. We're going to do a big burning right now. There we go. I'm telling you, it's got to go now. That's a wrong. This one's barely spinning, but then it starts spinning. Alright, one more shot. One more. Go for it, buddy. You're the driver. Well, I feel sorry for the ones that signed off too quick. Braxton messaged his pop and told him he's going to have to clean the floor tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we got that big pressure washer now, so it'd be easy. It ain't done anyways.
You can try it. You can put it in drive and try it. They said try it in drive. I'm worried it's going to try to shift once it gets going good. See what it does. Oh, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn your traction control off. Over there, hold it until it's the pillow track goes off. All right, here I'll. Let me get in front. All right, let's see what it does. Give it a shot. Try it. nitrous you're gonna have nitrous you're gonna have to have nitrous to get it over that spot it just don't have enough just to get the wheel speed up hey we got the tick out of it though Well, darn. Hey, it just gives us a reason for another live. No. Yeah. Good. All right, guys. So we're posting a video tomorrow, and then after we. We, we'll do the live first, and then we'll post the video. So, I don't know what you think. Around 5 o'clock, we'll do the live, and then post the video after. But, what we got to do is we got to have, like, four or five burnout vehicles ready. We need to have, uh, we need to go get the other Duramax. Get the S10. We gotta finish the S10 off. We gotta get new some tires back on it and finish it off. There's somewhere back there, honey. And then nitrous on this. <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out, but guys. And we could do a tug of war against the S10. This thing can probably drag the S10 everywhere, though. Yes. Duramax versus this four-wheel drive and not the giveaway truck the other one yeah, yeah. i can bring brutus over here that'd be a <laughs> sick burnout truck yeah, burn i got i don't want to use the giveaway truck because man i've sunk a fortune in that thing for this giveaway <laughs> But we're going to go see how many orders we got tonight. And everybody that ordered, thank you so much. Um, it's just supporting the channel. That's why we're doing the giveaways. We're trying to get the channel off the ground to where we can do it full time. So uh, that's our goal for 2024. Me and Brax want to do some epic videos, go out and buy some trucks and old cab overs and will it start. I mean, we want to do it all this year, go to all the shows. So all that's doing is helping support the channel where we can take it to the next level. So everybody's went and bought something, thank you. But guys, I'm gonna call it quits. I've gotta go back here. I'm gonna go finish up stripping Weston's sleeper what I got done tonight on it. I got sidetracked a little bit. You guys witnessed it, so. You know what happened. I mean, I, I was doing honest work with my son, so, um, you know, crap happens. But, no, I'm going to stick around for probably another hour or so and get that done and then go in and get some sleep. But I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Or we'll do another live and post a video. So, Merry Christmas, you guys. It's, well, 
Uh, yeah, I'll see if Devin will bring his car out. See if he's got some tires to blow off of it. Um, but I guess what we could do is uh, I'll pull that trailer out and we'll actually just use that as a burnout pit instead of the shop. But guys, I love y'all. I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for all you guys coming on here and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.